Hey guys, it's Mr. Tut here, and today's tutorial is over the Barricade Builder for Left 4 Dead. Um, uh, many of you probably wondered or seen other players in multiplayer survival do this before, and you've always wondered, well, how do you do that? And most likely the other player will not want to explain it to you because it takes a while to explain over texting or a microphone. Well, I've decided to make this tutorial for you guys, that way it uh, simplifies it, it's easy, and it's everything you need to know. I mean, I do it, and it's fun, and now I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to give you everything I know, alright, so let's get into it. In the description below, I'll supply a link for you for MegaUpload.com. Um, this is a console help text file, and uh, it's very small as you can see there, and you just click regular download and it will immediately open up a text document which is huge that we've put together of all the console commands you'll need this is basically all the cheats that you'll need for the game alright now uh, let's go over a few of them SV cheats 1 turns on all cheats necessary for the console command SV cheats 0 turns them on off sorry uh, no clip allows you to fly uh, Z spawn spawns a zombie uh, spawn smoker see it's pretty self-explanatory see that's the command and below it will be the description alright now uh, let me go ahead and just quickly open up my left for dead and show you how to use some of them alright guys here you can see I've opened up my left for dead and uh, whether you're in the game or from the main menu you're gonna want to go into options keyboard and mouse and enable this developer console alright make sure this developer console is enabled okay very important without that being enabled you will not be able to um, do any of the cheats at all alright well first off I'm just going to go ahead and create a little survival map for this tutorial and uh, none of these first three settings matter campaign chapter and permissions these don't matter these can be whatever you want them to be public friends only it doesn't matter it can be whatever but this server type is very important it plays a big part it has to be a local whether you're joining one or you're hosting one the game has to be set to a local server to do any type of cheats it will not work on officially dedicated alright so remember local only Alright, first off, to open up your developer console, there is a button underneath escape which will look like this and this. And uh, if you hit that, underneath escape, the developer console will open up. And um, what you're going to do inside of here is type in sv underscore cheats1. What that does is that allows cheats to be activated in the game by you or another player. And uh, below that, just type in no clip and this allows you to be able to fly so as you can see I'm now flying above down below and outside of the map and to uh, turn it off just go right back in and type in no clip and you'll fall right to the ground alright now you see my survivors over there are thinking where the hell did he just go All right now say you want to get a gun or an object or a molotov just go into the menu and type in give space and uh, just go ahead and name the object you want to receive, whether it be an auto shotgun, a first aid kit, pipe bomb, molotov, or a rifle. First tutorial, I'm going to type in rifle, submit, turn the game, and now I have one. And if you need ammo, just type in give underscore ammo, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, not give underscore ammo. Just type in give space aim ammo, and that'll refill your ammo real fast. Um, now, uh, how about we spawn a couple zombies? All right, to do that, just go into your menu and type in Z underscore spawn. Now that itself will spawn a regular infected. See if I just type in that, uh, there it is. All right, it'll spawn a regular zombie. But uh, how about we have some fun and spawn a special by going and typing in Z underscore spawn. The exact same thing, but you want to put a name at the end of it, such as Boomer will spawn a Z uh, boomer, obviously, and uh, tank will spawn a tank, and Z spawn witch will spawn a witch. So that's what we're gonna do for this tutorial. Go back, and there she is right there. And uh, see, she got me real good. But what we're gonna do for this tutorial, let me mute that. But what we're gonna do 
is you're going to go inside of here and type in ENT underscore remove. What this does, listen very important here, ENT remove will remove any object with your cursor is on. Notice I was aiming at the witch, so it removed her. Alright, so when I go back to the game, she will be down. Alright, now you want to make sure you never remove yourself or another player because it will crash your left for dead. And if it crashes your left for dead, all that will happen is your your screen will just freeze and everything will all the HUD will just turn invisible and it'll just be looking and you can't move or look around. You'll just have to turn off your left for dead and turn it back on. And that takes a while and disconnects you, but it, it it's not that big of a problem, but just don't do it. It saves you the problems. Just don't delete yourself or other people. And to get back up, you just want to type in give health and that'll just pop you right back up with full health. Alright, um and now we should unmute it there we go. Back into the game here. Alright, um another good command that uh if you ever have some other players you're playing with, such as Zoe, Bill, and uh Lewis, um to get them instantly to your position, say you don't want to tell them how to turn on no clip or they just don't know how to get to you, just go into your uh, command and type in warp underscore all underscore survivors here there it is right below me so I'm not going to type it right there warp all survivors here and you have to be the host to do this one alright but uh when you submit that and go back to the game all the characters will pop up on your menu and uh for the deleting part like I told you earlier ENT remove is how you delete something and if you do that It'll delete their character. Now you see Zoe just disappeared, but her screen is still there. She's probably just like looking at that floor right there, and she can't do anything or move around. And to delete Bill and Lewis, you just do the same, but I'm not going to, because the only reason I did that is because they're computers right now. They're not actually players. But um, to continue on with binding and unbinding, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into... Our console command and what binding and unbinding is, let me show you that real quick. Is I don't have to sit here and type in Z underscore spawn, I can just hit a button and I spawn a bunch of zombies here. All right, so I don't have to waste my time doing the hard work. So basically, what I'm saying is there's cheats for cheats, huh? Right, ironic, right? What we're going to do to do that is you're going to go into your console command. This is a bit more confusing, but just uh, bear with me. Type in bind space quotation mark and you're going to want to put the key that you want to bind it to, such as for this tutorial, I'll use 8. Alright, it can be a key, it can be anything you want it to be, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use 8 and then put another quotation mark space quotation mark and put the command. Commands are Z spawn, like watch, I'll put a Z underscore spawn boomer all right that means every time i hit the let hit the key 8 on my keypad it'll spawn a boomer cuz that's a command so that's how you set it up so i hit submit and now my key 8 is binded to z spawn boomer so now every time i hit 8 i spawn boomers baby like boom 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 that's why they call them boomers right Alright, now to uh, unbind it, you're just going to go back in and click unbind, quotation mark, the key you want to unbind, quotation mark, enter, and that's all you have to do, and that'll unbind it. Now remember, the way you set it up is bind, right, bind, quotation mark, you put the key here, the key you want to do, alright, space, quotation mark, and then you put the command here. Alright, if you want a command, just go to the console help that I supported for you in the description below. Download that, like I showed you earlier. And um, if you do that, then that's how you bind. Alright, now we're going to return to the game. And I uh, hope you liked this tutorial, guys. I showed you some few of the uh, commands that I knew, my favorite ones. I showed you how to bind them. And in uh, part two, I'll show you how to barricade build, which is basically just a this little radio menu here that I have and it's just a quick fast way to uh, build whatever you really want whether it's a fuel truck you can re rotate it around delete the police car 
delete the fuel truck, place a column, place another column. Uh, just it's gonna be awesome. So if you like this and had any interest in this at all, please stick around for part two. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out my channel to uh, at the bottom. I have a new option where you can suggest my next tutorial. So if you have any interest in uh, making video games, like if you want to make your own Left 4 Dead level, I can show you how to do that. If you want to make your own movie, I can show you how to do that. Anything with well computers, because that's the easiest thing for me to teach you about. Uh, just go to my channel and suggest it at the bottom. And um, I'll check into it, and I'll see you what I, I'll try to make a video about teaching that. And um, check out part two, like I said. Rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hope you enjoyed.